Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels and short stories. With me is Sam West, and today is... What is today? Warlock Wednesday. Warlock Wednesday. Woo! Woo-hoo, oh. Woo Warlock Wednesday. W's all around. We finally got a good one today. This is a neat little thing. I don't know if it's good, but it's neat. No? I think that's pretty good. I guess we'll we'll get into it, but... uh. Mm-hmm. Today we will be covering the Eldritch Invocation voice of the Chainmaster. Yeah, so this is this is really cute. It definitely could have been stable to pack to the chain, and I think about as many people would use it. Uh, this is a invocation from the Playstation book. It's got prereqs that you have to have packed to the chain. And it says yeah. you can communicate telepathically with your familiar and per- th- perceive through your familiar senses as long as they are on the same plane of existence. Additionally, while you're perceiving through the familiar senses, you can also speak through your familiar in your own voice, even if your familiar is not capable, or normally incapable of speech. So if you have an octopus, you can now have a talking octopus. You can throw that octopus in the sea, and you can communicate with it while you both live very different lives across worlds, should you so choose. Uh, that's that's not the use I was looking for, but uh, yeah, that's an option. Um, yes. You, you've got to uh, trade interactions with the mer people. Sure. Or an octopus pen pal, you know? <laughs> Well, you're yeah. the one that comes up with the really dumb ideas, but here we are. Maybe this is why you don't like it as much as I do. Okay, so... You're what starting it, with Octopus. The okay, My favorite familiar ever, his name was Simon, and he was an octopus, I'll have you know. But uh, the the real meat of this text is it, you don't need to abide by the 120-foot range to communicate with your familiar anymore, to see through its senses, to talk to it. Normally, your familiars have to be kind of close to you. 120 feet is very large, for the record. But they have to be somewhat in the same vicinity. Now, they can do a lot more long-distance scouting kind of stuff and have instantaneous feedback to you. And you can always just, like, dismiss the pocket dimension, bring it right back. Um, So you can, like, send it out as far as you need to. It gets in danger. You go yoink your back to me, and you've gotten all that scouting information, hypothetically. Yeah. I mean, what is it, 100 feet? I think it's 100 or 120 feet, something like that. Whatever. I mean, that's, uh, yeah, that's considerable. But it's not, I mean, we're not talking about having to go miles to make this difference. I mean, if you want to get, if you want information that's happening at the top of a tower, that's easily over 100 feet. You know. The, Most towers. Okay. Conceivably, or, you know, across town, or, you know, a different part of uh, a large house. So Okay, here's where I think the really important distinction is. You you can't you can your familiar can go those distances. It can be outside of 100 feet from you. You just can't chat with it while it's doing that. So yeah. what needs to matter is you need to have instantaneous feedback for what's on top of the tower matter for this scouting expedition, right? If you have something like a 180 foot tower, right? This big sprawling wizard tower reaches up into the sky. You send your familiar up. They need to be able to give you actual information the second they see it for it to be, have any gained value. Otherwise, they can just fly back down and be like, hey, boss, that's what's up there. Or, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about like listening in on conversations and stuff. That's, uh, I mean, that's something. You, yeah, yeah, I guess, I mean, you could, they could come back when they have the information you want. Give but the imp a uh, notepad. All right, but, but I'm talking about like, you know, what were we talking about before with like with scrying or arcane eye or something where like, you know, you, you, you which one was it where you had the, the time frame, like uh, 10 minutes to cast and then you get oh, 10 minutes I worth? I don't even remember. It's not arcane eye. Arcane eye is the one that you yeah. send a little eyeball around like a familiar. Right, right. Um, but um, the, you need to spend 10 minutes to get 10 minutes scrying on things. I don't remember which one that is. Yeah, whatever. It sucked. But, uh, but this is something like, all right, you send your, your familiar up there. You, you hopefully hide well and listen to the conversation and then oh when you hear what you need to hear you can either say hey i'm on to you buddy with your rat's voice or no through your own voice through your rat or you can just uh poof come on back now i got what i needed and you can be off doing other things that's there's i think there's a lot of application here potentially um, I think familiars are good enough at doing that exact job that I don't need to make a better, especially for an invocation. Is where I'm going to land on that, right? Like, I'm not going to say there's no upside to 
having the flexibility to know exactly when you should call your familiar back to know exactly, you know, the goings on in specific times and spaces, exact communication. I just don't think it's going to be often that relevant, especially in the majority of games that are kicking in doors, going into temples, murdering evil monsters, right? Like familiars are great because they do a lot of different things. They bring good berries around all over the place. They can infiltrate and hide in places and spy on things. And that spying on things doesn't necessitate you seeing exactly what's going on. And sometimes it's going to be within 100 feet of you. I'd say most of the time it's going to be within 100 feet of you. I don't and know. When- that's true. This, I think the flexibility here means, yeah, you could hang around and wait or you know, go off and do something else, leave your familiar behind. and uh... You can already do that. I know. And you can't really do other things while you're like surveilling the environment, right? Like you're using its senses. You're not using your own. You can have are it be you, like, okay. Are you not using your own? Because whenever you're looking through your familiar senses, you're blind deaf to your own, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, during this time, uh, you are deaf and blind to regard your own senses. Whenever you're looking through your familiar senses. Okay, because I thought like it said that specifically in a different one, but not, it didn't count here. But yeah, if that's true, then no, you can't really be doing a lot of other things. You, I mean, well, like, you, you can have it relaying the information in your forth. brain while you're trying to, like, function. But that'd be kind of like having a speakerphone in your brain talking at you while you're trying to like carry on normal day-to-day activities. That seems like it'd be challenging and not that much more practical than just getting the feedback later. Actually, no, I take that back. Cause yeah, if you're just, if you just want to listen, you know, a lot of people do that. They'll put on music or a podcast or something while they're so it's like a familiar the headphones. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I still not seeing how that's particularly useful or like that much more useful that is justifying its cost. It know, seems man. really expensive. Like, how often in DD are you like, oh, thank God, I can go shopping while my familiar <laughs> listens in on. It doesn't have to be shopping. What else are you doing if the most important thing is the surveillance or whatever in that moment, right? Like, you're saying there's something else there that is time sensitive you need to be doing? things going on. It could happen. It could, but does it? Not often, right? Does it happen often enough that you justify taking this? I, maybe I'll take it and be disappointed. This is one of those that are, I I need to I need to experience it to know how big a mistake I made. It's not like the worst mistake ever. I'm not saying you won't ever find instances where you'll be like, oh, because it can go out into the darkness and perceive immediately, I saw what killed it before it died. That can be valuable i think just knowing it died is probably good enough information as to like don't go keep going down the spooky dark cave but all right how about all right, all right this isn't gonna sound great but it just popped into my head you have to eat something that's really disgusting you perceive taste through your familiar while you eat the thing huh are you trying to sell me on this? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that's like the octopus use case. And it's okay, cute, yeah. but entirely pointless. Yeah. that's. I'm sure there are practical applications. Probably not through taste. Um, unless, unless there's a way to detect poison through taste and you have your familiar go drink from goblets and stuff. Couldn't you just like watch familiar die and be like, oh, that worked. They're they're my test subject anyway. That's yeah, that's a problem in this edition. I don't like that. Um yeah, you know, I, I miss the the you know, third third edition familiars where their deaths mattered. You have to spend a little bit of gold over come back. <laughs> hmm. Um, let's see. But no, it's like, you know, this is your familiar. If it dies, it's dead. It's not just like some recyclable phase spirit okay sure yeah i agree that that's probably a better way to handle it where we currently stand though that, in a world that's not where, where we are yes yes yeah voice of the chain master exists as an improvement to the existing familiar mechanics which are utterly busted don't get me wrong this is just like not that much more all right well, not even when you include the speech i don't give a flying about that. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, oh, it's God, a megaphone. No. It's a walkie-talkie. Sure. Who cares? It's an imp already. It's a closet already. It's got two and a half other billion powers. It's got more words on it than the fighter's entire character sheet. 
And you're like, ah, oh, but I can talk through it now, and it's a big, meaningful improvement. And it's is my it? voice. That's like, for as much crap as you gave Magic Weapon, like Mr. Flavor, this is oh. dripping with flavor. Oh. No argument there. I'm not saying this isn't cool as hell. I'm just saying it's not good. <laughs> All right, I, I love Octopus Pen Pal, thank you very much. <laughs> I just don't think it's useful in a game that's about running around murdering stuff. All right, well, I, 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 I'm leaning big into the flavor here. I like it a lot, and that is probably enough for me to want, want this. Um, and I think uh, if I had it, I'd, I'd make Make my own practicality. I, I think, I'm trying to use this for it. I think by that you mean you would make it very silly to have a small little imp talk in a deep man voice. <laughs> it's like what that ends up looking like, right? That, no, that's not silly because I can picture that. That's you know maybe that's what imps sound like. It would be, you know, a then rat what's the a, fantasy a, being sold? A, a rat or a hamster or a bird or something talking in my voice. That's what, fun. You've okay. You took Pact of the Chain, <laughs> denied yourself one of four busted familiars so that you could have a rat say, right. Sup, I'm Tim. What are... <laughs> like, that's what we're doing? All right, what are my, what are my familiar options here? Was it Imp Pseudo Dragon Sprite? These things have invisibility at will. These things have shape change at will. These yeah. things have frightening abilities. These things have poison on hit damage. You have invocations that let you use your spell safety DC instead of theirs for their abilities. You can let them attack as bonus actions and improve their damage and stuff. You got plays right. to suit them up no, and be awesome. You're, right. you're going to take I, this? I would not, no, I would not deny myself that. That's true. Uh, but most of these things look like they could probably talk anyway, so that's not as exciting. The dragon maybe not? Nah, dragons can talk. All right, what about the little insectoid closet that's got like fangs for a face? Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> I don't right. know. I'm gonna go with two. It's not unusable. It'll give you like a little something now and again. I don't think it's gonna be something you're taking early. It's like the this is like an invocation you pick up when you're like, well, I don't really care about the rest of these. I'm level seventeen, so sure. All right, well, I'm, I won't go as high as four. Uh, definitely, I think it's middle of the road three. What do you do with it? So many things, like like, like that you like couldn't you do have... already. Those things farther than a hundred feet. Okay. I I don't want to be in this prison you like to be in, Sam. Hundred feet's big. <laughs> um. All right. I. I just think there's a lot of potential. I think. Commenters, whose side are you on here? Are you pro, like, this thing's actually awesome, there's tons of utility, you've got a bunch of use out of it, or you're like, no, this is this is just kind of bad? I think there are going to be arguments to say, what, only a three? You must be insane. I will be baffled if that's the case. <laughs> what? This is All the right. most nothing invocation. <laughs> I, I, I think there's a lot going on here, a lot of potential. All right, um, but we are, we are at an impasse. Yeah. Commenters, it's up to you. Let us know what you think down in the comments. All right, thank you, Sam. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. That was Voice of the Chain Master. All right, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, informative, or entertaining, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button below. You needn't smash it. A gentle tap will suffice. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And make sure you check out the links in the description where you'll find my Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels, Sam's full review of the spell, and other fun things.